Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the S&P 500, taking a look at the stock markets, looking for potential bullish trading ideas on the stock markets at the moment. Now we don't typically look at the S&P 500 but it's a um, or we have done previously in the past, but it's actually a very important market for you to study um, as a lot of the moves in the FX markets are derived by the moves uh, amongst the likes of the S&P, especially if you're trading dollar based markets. Um, and, you know, you could, there's a there's many a chart that you can go and look at where the price of the S&P has fallen and you see multiple different asset classes following it or doing the opposite to it. Um, so it's a very important market to add to your trading tool list every week. You should be looking at the S&P 500 and looking at the opportunities that could potentially present themselves uh, using uh, the stock markets. Now, I like the idea of potentially being long stock markets at the moment, especially uh, with the uh, kind of technical form that's formulating here. There also, uh, are also other factors to consider when looking at the potential for the stock market to move to the upside um, seasonally. The markets tend to perform okay through April um, and get a little bit better uh, through May. Uh, we often see uh, as well, or what we are seeing at the moment is uh, the dollar starting to uh, fall a little bit. Um, you know, that's derived by the stock market starting to bounce. And we also have this nice technical outlook here, which we're going to take a look at right now. And you can see that price is on this weekly time frame, potentially finding support at a left shoulder area. Now you can see that price made a left shoulder head. Is this going to be the right shoulder in here? Are we going to start seeing prices rally to the upside? Now we came into this area down through here and we actually spoke about the S&P many, many weeks ago, looking at the idea of seeing the price bounce around this point because of the Federal Reserve talking about hiking interest rates, um, which is a positive for stock markets. And we can see that uh, talking about it, saw price bouncing around these areas and then the height rates and the market moved to the upside. Typically, after, when, when the market does go through a hiking cycle, the uh, stock markets do tend to be bullish as well. So I'm expecting price to potentially come back to the major highs here at 4780. And you can see here, starting to find some support at this left shoulder area. Is that going to be the right shoulder? Could that provide a potential opportunity? Well, if we go take a look at the four hour time frame, what I'd like to see is a four hour upward trend develop. You can see when we had the uh, weekly downward trend or the downward impulsive phase, the four hour was making lower lows and lower highs. Now price has started to make higher highs and higher lows. We just haven't quite cleared this previous area, which is something I'm looking for. I'm looking for price to start trading above this 44.70, which we are kind of around about right now. And if price can potentially move a little bit higher and, and clear these highs, I think that's going to be the opportunity then to start being a uh, consecutive buyer of this market with price potentially pulling up into um, the previous swing highs through here for your first kind of opportunities. Second opportunities will be back up towards that 4780. So keep an eye on the stock markets, potential bullish idea forming here, uh, looking for potential opportunities on those trend trades. So thanks for watching the video update. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to see some more Forex trading content. And I'll speak to you in the next video. Thank you.